Hey guys, it's Chris. From people who were believed to be dead but honestly weren't, to those who faked their own funerals just to see who'd show up and more. Join me as I reveal 10 times people woke up at their own funerals. Number 10. The Two Week Reprieve This is the story of Walter Williams, a 78-year-old man from Mississippi who had a very simple kind of death. He passed away, was checked by the medical examiner, and was later put into a body bag and then taken to the local funeral home, processed for the funeral and a ceremony. Here's the problem though, he didn't even make it to his own funeral, because by the time he got to the embalmer's room, which is used to make the body both rigid and preserved for some time, the person there noticed that Walter's legs were moving. The coroner was needless to say stunned and proceeded to pay close attention to what was going on. Walter then started to breathe. He was actually still alive. Yes, indeed, he was alive somehow. Think about this for a moment if you would. Not only did his death fool some people, it fooled a lot of them, including the more than likely medical personnel who declared him dead. Then he somehow survived being put in a body bag and being transported without suffocating, only to miraculously be woken up by some sort of stimuli. That's a lot of things that have to go right or wrong for you to be presumed dead and yet not killed before being brought to your own funeral. Unfortunately for Walter, it wasn't meant to be. Just over two weeks later, he passed away for real. The family double-checked. I think he's gone this time, confirmed his nephew. Number 9. The Case of Mistaken Identity When you go to a funeral, you should know 100% that the person you're burying is your loved one or friend, right? In fact, you've likely gone to see the body of your lost one at least once before the funeral for proper identification. However, in the case of one Gilberto Adaúju of Brazil, things weren't as simple as they would have appeared. You see, he had been believed to have been killed during a violent attack at his workplace, and his brother had come around to identify Gilberto as the deceased. So thus, a funeral was made, and all the family came to mourn the body and so on and so forth. But then, Gilberto arrived at the door and was wondering why all of them were mourning him when he was still very much alive. Confused? Yeah, me too, so here's what happened. Gilberto worked at a car wash, and at the car wash, someone was killed, and that person just so happened to look a lot like him. No, really. And that's why the brother thought Gilberto was dead. Though you honestly have to question whether he was close to his brother because you'd think that he would recognize that the man killed was nothing more than a look-alike, but I guess not. And now for number 8, but first, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos. And let me know if you would ever fake your own funeral in the comments below. Number 8. A Hit Gone Sideways This particular story is definitely one of the more unique funeral tales you're ever going to hear, and for good reason. Noella Rocundo was from Australia, and one day she had to go and make a trip to a funeral for her stepmother. No, her stepmother wasn't alive, but if things had gone as planned, neither would Noella be soon. You see, her husband had decided to kill her, but since he couldn't do it himself, he went and hired a hitman to do it for him. Sure enough, they grabbed her while she was at the location of her stepmother's funeral. So that's the end of the story, right? Well, not so fast, because apparently, these were hitmen with integrity. And by that, I mean that they eventually figured out that the guy who hired them was Noella's husband, and they weren't really on board for killing her for him, so they let Noella go. So that's the end of the story then, right? Nope because her husband, thinking the deed had been done, set up a funeral for her to mourn and try to show that he was sad about her passing. Unfortunately for him, she showed up and confronted him about the attempted murder in front of everyone. As a result, he was later sentenced to nine years in jail, and I'm pretty sure they got a divorce. Number 7. See Who Would Come Part 1 To many, funerals are a sad time, but to others, in various cultures, funerals are a measure of the impact you made in your life. Because the more people that arrive at your funeral, the more people you impacted while you were alive. For Chinese man Zheng Diang, he wondered how much he had impacted people in his 66 years of life so far, so he went and staged his own funeral. Now, before you just go and blast him for his vanity, there's more going on here than just that. In Chinese culture, the dead are said to have needs, and their graves are supposed to be visited regularly to ensure those needs are met. So he wanted to make sure those needs were met via the people who would come to his funeral. And on the bright side for him, 40 people he invited to the funeral did show up, as well as hundreds of other people who wanted to pay tribute to the deceased. However, there was a problem in who didn't appear at the funeral. 20 relatives and friends didn't show up. I can't believe so many relatives and friends don't care about me, he was quoted as saying. 
it is a little sad, but since he was still alive, he could now haunt them in a very personal way to ensure they did come the next time around. Number 6. See Who Would Come Part 2 If you think that only a few people staged their own funerals to see who all would come, well, you'd be wrong. Because a Serbian man named Vuk Perik decided to do his own fake funeral to see who would show up. More than likely, it was a closed casket affair, and he decided to watch the entire funeral from a distance, which is a curious thing for sure. When he felt that the proceedings went on long enough, he went down and thanked everyone who had mourned him. I think that after the shock wore off that he was alive, they probably weren't too pleased that they'd been messed with like that. Would you want to be told someone you cared for was dead and then have them show up to thank you for coming and mourning them? Yeah, exactly. Number 5. Death Becomes a Holiday This very unique story comes from the village of Braffin in Hertfordshire, England, and it dates all the way back to 1571. A local farmer by the name of Matthew Wall had passed away and the whole village came together to mourn him as you'd expect. However, there was a slight problem. You see, as the casket was being carried out to the burial site, one of the pallbearers went and dropped the coffin, which obviously would have been a big deal on its own because of the sanctity of it all. However, when the coffin dropped and the body fell out, Wall woke up and was naturally surprised by what was going on. Now, you might think that the village would be rightfully frightened by this resurrection story, and maybe they were in their own way. But not long after, they created their own holiday called Old Man's Day to celebrate the revival of Matthew Wall. A man who, by the way, continued to live until 1595, proving that death really didn't have his number for quite some time. Number 4. The Bishop Nikiforos Glycus was a bishop working in Greece, and as you might expect upon his passing, his church had many particular and specific methods that they would impart on the fallen to make sure he had a proper burial. For example, in the case of a death, the body was left out to be displayed and mourned by the fall. This event was to go on for two days, and on the second day, everyone in the church was in for a shock when the bishop woke up and started to demand to know what was going on around him. As it would turn out, he was just napping for days, apparently. This happened in 1896, so I guess the 1800s were just a really weird time. Number 3. How Not to Show Up at Your Own Funeral There are certain pieces of etiquette that are to be followed when going to a funeral of any kind one of which is to not be drunk or be high on various narcotics. But does that pertain to a person who is dead? Edison Vicuna would no doubt argue no. You see, he went missing in his home country of Ecuador, and after he didn't report in for days, his family felt that he was dead. Then a body was found, but the face was horribly disfigured because it was in a car accident previously. An autopsy was done, and it was found out that it was Edison. Hearing this, the family went and threw a funeral for him. But the joke, and it was a bad one, was on them, because as the funeral took place, Edison showed up to the funeral flat out drunk. Naturally, people were freaked out because of what was going on, but eventually, they re-examined the dead body and realized that it wasn't Edison. Though Edison showing up probably was the better indication of that. Number 2. Death, Life, and Death Again you could argue that Fagil Yumukhemetsunov of Russia has one of the worst return to life stories ever, because in 2011 she was believed to have died from a heart attack. She was taken to a hospital where she was declared dead, as such a funeral was made a few days later. And as she was laying in her coffin, she woke up. And to her surprise and horror, there were people all around her mourning her. This caused her to panic and start yelling. She was taken to the hospital after people realized what was going on, but even though she was still alive, it didn't take. As her husband recalled, her eyes flapped. However, she just lived an additional 12 minutes in intensive care prior to dying once more, and this time permanently. Heart failure was ultimately registered as the cause of death, and it's important to remember that this was modern medical practices that had labeled her dead. This shows that even modern medicine can fail in understanding the human body. Number 1. Waiter, this man is still alive. Another more recent death story happened in 2012. When waiter Hamdi Hafez al Nubi had a heart attack at just 28 years old. A very odd thing, but after being examined, he was declared dead and his family started to prepare the body for its last rites via Islamic traditions. One problem when the body, after being prepared, was sent to the medical examiner for a final check and death certificate signing. He noticed that the body was still warm, which shouldn't have been possible, as the human body loses heat after death and thus it should have been cold. After realizing that the man was still alive, he alerted the family and instead of a funeral, they had a celebration. Which if I'm being honest here was probably a much better gathering to have, all things considered. 
Thanks for watching. What did you think of this one? Were you shocked by some of these stories? Which ones were you shocked by the most? Can you believe how many times people were declared dead and yet they weren't? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to World List, and I'll see you next time on the channel.